Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. It's mornings with Bernadine. <laughs> it seems to be turning out like that. I know a lot of y'all do your videos in the evenings, but I'll just be honest with you. I'm not my I'm spent in the evenings. <sighs> this old lady <laughs> is ready to relax. And I just it's not my best time of the day. But I'm glad. I'm glad y'all can do that. I enjoy hearing y'all what's going off the end of your day. Well, you're hearing about my day yesterday at the beginning of the next morning. But it all works out, right? It's fine. It doesn't matter. Here's my hat. I finished it. Got it off. Well, you saw me taking it off the the uh, Centro knitting machine yesterday with the uh, my cat accomplice that was helping me. Uh, little Oliver and uh, yeah I finished it I like how it turned out it is a little bit bigger so I think my husband gotta wait and try it on him I didn't cinch it up yesterday actually I just cinched, cinched it up right before I turned this camera on yeah I took my medicine first thing I always do cinched this hat up well, actually, I put the coffee on. On the way in, you know my morning routine. Friends, after 12 days, it's been in the morning with me. <laughs> Come join me. Come join me in a cup of coffee. Grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a drink or something. Put your feet up. We're going to do a little chat and happy Vlogmas Day 12 to y'all. A dozen days. <laughs> But I find if I get up and do it first thing in the morning, it all works out for me. So whatever works for everybody, right? So let me set you up, and I'm going to go grab my coffee. I'll be right back. Chit-chat patty whack. Wait for me. Now, my friends, I'm sharing something with you this morning that is very precious to me and dear to my heart that I treasure. It's one of my treasures in life. It's just an object. But as you can see, this little baby sweater is knitted. My mother made this for my three-month-old baby. We lived in Big Spring, and my mother lived in right out of Houston in Conroe. And uh, we didn't have much money, my husband and I, starting out like any young couple would. And my kids didn't have a whole lot. I mean, they had clothes, and they were warm, and they had food, and they had toys. Nothing elaborate, okay? But <clears throat> we were happy. And uh, my mother, one winter, my, my son was born in August, the end of August. So it's September, October, November, or January. My mama made this and sent this to my son, Michael, my youngest one. And I love it. I, I used it. I didn't just put this up, friends. This has been worn and washed and worn and washed over and over and over. This was not put up on a shelf or hung in a closet to ooh and ah over. This was very functional. It fit him very well. It kept him very warm. I want to show you the back of it. Look what my mama did. My mama did that for my son. <sighs> Isn't it just beautiful? But I wanted to share this with y'all. I still haven't gone in there and got my coffee, but I wanted to put this little segment out to show you the talent of my mother. Now, she probably did not have a pattern for this. No, uh-uh. There was no YouTubes and all that back then in 73, 74. My son was born August the 30th in, uh, of 73. Now, she might have gotten this pa this uh, pattern, the stitch pattern somewhere, or maybe she didn't. I don't know. I don't know. But look at the little, little collar on it. My mama did that. She put the little pearl buttons on it. So, I just want to share that with y'all. Now, let me go get my coffee, and I'll be right back to talk with you. 
Hi friends, welcome back. I got my coffee. I hope you have something good to drink. If you're if it's cold there, get something warm. I'm sorry I slurped. <laughs> it's just so good and it's hot, okay? I don't want to burn my mouth. I'm trying not to, friends. It's just yummy, okay? <laughs> so, I have this much of my first yarn uh, cake left. And I am making progress on this. I have just been... Working, working, working on it. I've been enjoying myself doing it. It's a lot of... Well, there's a lot of enjoyment in this. And it's growing, right? So, I don't know what the day is going to hold for us around here. another cold day out there nothing nothing real cold like in the 50s that's cold but <sighs> partly sunny <laughs> I think <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> my husband is still asleep thank goodness he got some sleep last night <clears throat> we both did But I can't sleep when he's up and down like that all night long. I don't know what's going on. One night, the timer from the kitchen woke me up. I don't think it was last night. I mean, I don't think it was the night before last. I think it was a couple of nights back. This has been happening. Him not sleeping. He needs to talk to his doctor about that. That's not good. That's not healthy. He has trouble. For some reason, he has some kind of mental block on that timer on the stove, and he can't manage it. He can't turn it off. He can't turn it on. But apparently, he managed to turn it on the other night and didn't know it. So... Anyway, it was blaring. But no, last night was a good good night around here. <clears throat> the Lord woke me up to another day so I could get in here and talk to you guys. The time is 6.11. I woke up about 4.30, finally got up about 5.00. I was looking at my phone, friends. Do y'all do that when you wake up? I was just checking it. Checking it for news. Checking it for messages. Checking it for videos. Oops. Now look at there. I messed that up. I believe I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go in with a second skein of yarn with this shawl. To get it as large as I would like it to be. It's supposed to be from fingertip to fingertip across. And this one is not anywhere near that. So. Since I have the yarn, I'll just keep going. Alright, spill the beans over there. Tell me again what y'all are working on. What have y'all completed for Christmas? No, don't tell me what you're working on. I want to hear about what your makes. What have you finished lately? Yeah. And is it for just because or is it for Christmas? A couple of years back... Well, it's been more than a couple of years back, okay? I'll say a long time ago. <laughs> I made some Christmas stockings for, for the, the whole family, everybody there. Everybody, everybody got Christmas stockings that I made. 
a soda. They, they weren't they weren't like crocheted or anything like that. Yeah, out of uh, felt. And I have a fancy sewing machine that did uh, appliques. Of course, now it's not it's not working. But I put appliques on them. It turned out so cute. I was very proud of that. Yes, it did. I don't know where those are now. Oh, we've moved and I'm not sure exactly, friends, where those are at. got other things but that sweater my mother knit for my youngest I've got other stuff put up that she made I'll show y'all I'll show y'all here and there if you'd like to see them I think they're not vintage of course they're not that old they're probably 50 years old But I have them safely put away so nothing can get to them. And they'll be protected. So no big plans today around here. I thought I'd get a video out for y'all. See if y'all have any videos out that I can watch if you have a channel. You know, we have our we have our we have our people we like to watch. So I gotta see if there's any videos put out there that I look for every day. <laughs> I'm gonna make another one of these hats probably later today. It is bigger. This hat is bigger. So I'll see if it fits my husband's head. It does feel bigger on me even. So I'm hoping it does. Whoops, I messed that up right there. Right there. What did I do? I dropped one of those plies. Don't do what don't do what I do, my friends. We don't want to we don't want to leave a ply behind. Yeah, copy. All right. Let me get you up here. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> My hat is so warm too, friends. It's warm. And uh oh, I didn't want to tell you something. Let me get this. If you watched yesterday's video, you know I used this plastic needle to get the, the stitches off the centro. I was gonna use it to to finish uh do, doing the hat, but you see how big that eye is? I could not sew the stitches tight on the top of this hat because it wouldn't go through those tight stitches. So I switched and had to go to my favorite metal needle with a littler eye. Now, you are not supposed to use metal needles on these plastic knitting machines because they're made out of plastic. And you don't want to dig into, into, I know it's just plastic, but you don't want it scratched up. So they say, or... Uh, I have heard or read or seen or watched them say, or people say out there, that you should use a plastic needle on a plastic machine. So that's just a tidbit of info I wanted to leave you with. Because I said, oh, I, I like these metal needles. Well, actually, we're supposed to use plastic on plastic machines. So that makes sense to me. <laughs> okay. Friends, my show is over. You've seen 
me this morning. You can see me again tomorrow if you come back. <laughs> come back. Welcome here if you're new. Welcome to my new subscribers. I have a few. I appreciate your sticking with me and giving me a chance. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love y'all. So does God. Be kind to others. Do for others. Put others first. And we need to strive to love the unlovable like Jesus does. He loves everybody. Okay. Bye, friends. <laughs>